last video, we looked at how to create a variable speed effect using real-time controls. And in this video, we're going to look at creating pretty much the same thing, but using real-time frame. It's a different method, but in a very good way. So let's see how it works. All right, as per usual, we have a video clip right here playing at its regular speed. Uh, there's no variable speed effect or any sort of effect that's being applied right now to this video clip. Okay, so now to uh, create, to bring up Retime Frame, uh, let's uh, right click this video clip, uh, click Retime Curve, and actually it would default to Retime Frame, so perfect. Now, but that's just, just to keep in mind that if we click on the pop-up menu uh, on the top in the uh, top left-hand corner here, you will actually see that there are all kind of uh, all the other options that you have, uh, including real-time speed curve. But in this case, in this tutorial, we're only focusing on real-time frame. Okay, so now the first thing actually I'm going to do is to also bring up real-time controls as well, because you will see later on that. Whenever we make a change uh, using real-time frame, the change is also reflected uh, on, under uh, real-time controls as well. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna have both at the same time so that you can, can see the changing effect much better. But in reality, just keep in mind, you don't need real-time controls at all. Okay, so now the first thing is to set up a control point using keyboard shortcut uh, option and click. And then you, now you have a control point and you can move it up and down, left and right. And it works very similarly to uh, pretty much like a, a speed point. So now let's see what happens when we drag the control point all the way up. Now, this is a bit extreme, but I want to illustrate what's happening here. Essentially, all the frames to the right-hand side of the control point are now being moved to the left-hand side of the control point. And on the right-hand side, you are left with pretty much at the very last frame. And then when we move the control point all the way to the bottom, again, this is extreme case, but on the right hand side, now you're left with just the first frame of the video clip and all the other frames are now being moved to the right hand side. So this is very, very handy in reality when you create, when you work with a uh, real time frame and in cases where you are, you're not, you're not hot, happy with the amount of uh, uh, frames that we're playing uh, for, certain, during, uh, for certain speed. Okay, so now let's have, have a look at uh, what happens when we move the real-time control point to the left-hand side. And so now, let's have a look. So you will notice that, the, in essence, right here, we have a variable speed effect uh, where we play, and but the frames are not changing. Uh, and when we move it a little bit even further, again, this will change the effect. You will have a more drastic changing effect, uh, changing speed. Uh, but then again, you know, the frames themselves are not changing. So this, along with moving the control point up and down, will be very handy. Will work, you know, will be something that you need to work with, uh, um, you know, very often to create a good variable speed effect. Uh, now the next thing, well, let's have a look at uh, when we create multiple control points, and that's usually what happens when, in reality when you create a variable, uh, variable speed effect, and uh, how, how that what, what's uh, some of the caveats. So uh, in essence, uh, all the control points work similarly, but in cases where you have multiple control points, I want to illustrate what happens when you move that control point below the previous control point. So let's do that and see what happens. And this is really the only caveat you need to keep in mind. So as you will notice that actually you 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 just created a rewind effect uh, when the when the second when the, the the second control point is below the first uh, control point. So this is something to keep in mind. If your only goal is to create variable speed effect, always make sure that in cases where you have multiple control points, all the other control points, any following control point is positioned higher than the previous control point. This way, your all your frames will be playing in a forward motion. Okay, so the next thing is creating a transition, going from one speed to another. We can do that by clicking the Bezier curve uh, there, and we can adjust the Bezier handle. Uh, we can drag it outwards to create a much smoother effect, going from one speed to another. Or we can drag the Bezier handle inward uh, and to create a more abrupt uh, transition, uh, going from one speed uh, to the next. So this is one of the benefits of using real time frame. You have this ability to adjust the transition. Okay, the very last thing is how do we remove control points? Simply click the control point and hit the lead button and you will remove the control point. So now uh, once you remove all the control points, everything in this entire video will go back to playing at its uh, regular speed.
right, so we're gonna bring everything we've learned earlier together and apply it to this actual video clip and create a variable speed effect. Okay, so now the first thing we're gonna do is bring up read time frame, and then we're also gonna bring up the read time controls. And once again, you don't need to bring up read time controls when you actually work with read time frame, but I, I, but I wanna do that to show you guys the changing effect uh, much better. So we start off by setting two, uh, by setting two co uh, control points here and we're gonna adjust the very first control point by bringing it a little bit to the left. I want the very first part of this video to play at a slightly faster speed, but I don't want that many frames uh, to be playing at this much faster speed either. So what I'm gonna do is that, uh, let's go ahead and have a look first. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it uh, down a little uh, so that I can right, reduce uh, the amount of frames that I will be playing at this first part. And as you guys remember earlier, uh, bring it, uh, the control point up and down will adjust uh, the amount of frames that will be playing. So uh, this is uh, this is this should be a, a much better. So yeah. So as you see that we have a variable speed effect, but not that many frames are playing uh, at this uh, speed. So this is good. So let's go ahead and bring the second control point also uh, closer to the first one. I make sure it's also positioned higher. And I, I th now this part, I want it to be playing at a much faster speed. And also I want a lot of frames to be playing uh, here uh, during uh, in this speed as well. And so it's almost like I want to bring pretty much all the frames here. I want very few uh, clips, uh, very, very few frames left for the very last part. So as you can see, I'm bringing this control point uh, much, uh, uh, much higher. Uh, almost like towards the very top, but not to the very top, uh, of course. So let's do that and make sure that, yeah, this is like, we're almost at the end of the video. So a lot of the frames will be playing at this much or, uh, faster speed, so it will create a much better effect, a much drastic, more drastic uh, variable speed effect. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and just to start setting up our very last part of this video. And I want this to be, again, the very last part. So we're gonna bring all the way to the top. So make sure that, so this way that, so that this will ensure that the only frame that's left on the right hand side is just the very last frame, which we can take care of later on very easily. And I want it to be playing at a much slower speed, not much slower, sorry, to be playing at a slower, slightly slower speed. So as you can see, I, I brought it uh, to the right hand side and I'm also adjusting this one. So once again, I want this part to be almost like at the very end of the video. And let's adjust the speed a little also by bringing the, uh, this control point, the third control point to the right, uh, to the left, sorry. Uh, and I want this to be playing at just a slightly slower speed, but not like much slower. Okay, so this looks good. This is the one, this is the kind of uh, transition, the kind of uh, uh, changing speed that I'm looking for. Okay, so now let's go ahead and play it. It looks decent, it looks decent. This is definitely very close to what I had in mind. Uh, but let's go ahead and also adjust the first control point uh, a little as well. Let's just bring it down a little. I still think there are too many frames playing in the first part. And uh, let's see. Okay, this is not bad. And let's go ahead and adjust the second po uh, control point. Again, okay, I just want this just a little minor change. And this is what usually what happens when you work with a time frame and create a variable speed effect. It's just a lot of uh, this little minor adjustments that you have to make. Okay, so let's go ahead and also just this transition as well, going from uh, uh, one speed to the next. I want this to be a little bit smoother, so this is good. Uh, this is good. All right, this is not. This is looking pretty good. This is looking very close to what I had in mind. Okay, so now the very last frame here, uh, and uh, sorry, last control point. Let's also bring a little bit uh, to the left. Um, let's also bring it uh, a little bit to the left. Okay, so this is this is not bad. I don't want it to be too slow. Okay, so now the last thing we're gonna do here is just to get rid of the very last frame, and this is very easy to take care of. Just uh, you know, bring everything to the playhead here, and let's go ahead and play the entire video. So now you see that this is a way much better variable speed effect. Okay, this looks great. Hope uh, this helps, guys. <laughs>